Our first comedian is a regular here. He's uh, loved here very much. Give it up for the one and only Jeff Simon! Yeah. 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 Give it up for Scott. Scott's one of the uh, top divorce attorneys in New York City. In fact, I use him for all my divorces. <laughs> he told you he was a divorce attorney, right? Yeah. Yeah. How's everybody doing tonight? Good, yeah. That's good. Anybody from New York City here? Yeah! Anybody yeah. from Washington? Uh, I'm voting for Bill de Blasio for the next mayor of New York City. No, don't do it. Why? <laughs> what choice is there? He's for, that's right, what choice? He's for the legalization of marijuana. Yeah! So is Loda. And he's going to end, uh, he's going to end stop and steal the, the black guy's weed, also <laughs> known as stop and frisk. And uh, I, I am for default. I, I, I'm hoping the government defaults. Because I want to see how certain people that rely on the government checks act when these, when these checks stop rolling in. <laughs> you know, they can be the same uh, happy-go-lucky people when they can't pay their bills, and they can't buy their weed. You know, I, I like to see, you know, because they say uh, they, when somebody goes through adversity, that's how you see the true character of somebody. Um. Let's see, I've, I've been, I've been like, comparing news anchors from all the networks. Like the, uh, the Fox News Channel anchors, they, have, they all have blonde hair, big tits, and big asses. Those are the women that, uh, that I like to date, you know? <laughs> and then the M MSNBC anchors, they have like uh, dark hair, small tits, and no ass. Those, those are the women I want to fuck, you know? <laughs> um, is anybody voting for Chris Christie when he nope. runs for president? I would. Uh, okay. Well, the only chance he has is if he gets a very strong running mate. Because there's no way he could live out his first term. <laughs> I mean, he will either die from diabetes or a massive stroke. Have you, uh, the guy's lost 100 pounds. He's still obese. Any liberals out here? Oh, yeah. 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 from Washington, of course. Uh, no, is Washington a blue or a red, uh, uh, a red or a blue state? You, what would you do in the last election? Liberal. Yeah, start doing. Yeah, like you, you guys are like going over the top again because you want putting pressure on the NFL to change the name of the Washington Redskins. Uh, probably. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they're you know they're saying it's like it is offensive to the uh, Native Americans, you know, the Redskins name. But uh, you, you liberals don't know how stupid you are. All you got to do is uh, go right to the owner of the Redskins. He's a Jew. Just offer him ten million dollars. He'll, he'll change your name to anything you want. It's a fucking Jew, you know. Come on. I'm a Jew too. I'm a Jew too. And uh, yeah, I um, I just I was just talking to this Upper East Side Jew. Those are the richest Jews in the world. This guy just dumped his wife for a hot young Russian chick. Uh, she's getting the uh, summer house in the Hamptons, the East Side apartment, the Mercedes, and five million dollars cash. And she's also getting screwed. The guy's worth over a hundred million dollars. <laughs> and any woman here that uh, could uh, think about marrying a rich Jew someday? Yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, do me a favor. Get a good lawyer when he dumps you for a hot young Russian chick. All right. <laughs> this, this girl's on Judy.com. Really? Yeah. All right. All right. He actually is Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're, well, Al, you're not Jewish, right? No. You don't look Jewish. Uh, <laughs> she is. Let's see. Oh. Uh, there she is. Ah, uh, yeah. Did you smoke weed tonight, Al? I tell you, I, I jerk off more than ever lately. I've been jerking off more than ever lately. Uh, unfortunately, it's with, it's the, unfortunately, it's it's with a soft dick. Uh, when, when I was a kid, the only, thing, the only place to find a woman to jerk off to was in the National Geographic. <laughs> I tell you, you people don't know how lucky you are. All you gotta do is click a button. Um, my favorite website is this alcohol service. For a hundred dollars, what's going on here? You are a drug addict. What's that? For a hundred dollars plus 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 care fare, I could I could have any woman from this website over my house in twenty minutes. Uh, no, no thanks. I'll just jerk off to her picture for free, you know. And. Um, I, I divorced my last wife 12 years ago. I would have I got divorced a lot sooner, but my father-in-law told me if I ever divorced his daughter, I'd be dog food. I had to wait for this motherfucker to die. Uh, 
drink up. You're the only one laughing here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, he, um, I had to wait. So I had to wait for his motherfucker to die. But right before they pulled the plug on this guy's respirator, uh, I asked him if he was serious about that dog food line. But the the motherfucker's lungs were so filled up with fluid, I couldn't make out what he was saying. <laughs> and when he took his last breath, his my wife got hysterical. I started reciting the last line of Dr. King's I Had a Dream speech. Free at last, free at last, free at last. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. Um, but I, tell you, I used to be into like, uh, I used to go to bars every night. I was into like, you know, big tits and big asses. All right, thank you. Now, now I'm more into, uh, I'm, more, I'm into stuff like how much, uh, how much property do these widows own? And how much, you know, what do they have in their stock portfolios? You know? That's why, I, I, that's why the best time to meet this, this type of woman is, uh, is when her husband dies. That's why I, I like to be in the ICU when they pull a plug on a guy's respirator. Oh my God. And, if, uh, you know, if I can't make it to the ICU, I'll be at the funeral. You know, when everybody starts walking back to the car. Uh, the only thing is you got to put up with these cock-blocking kids who are uh, clinging to the mommy saying, you're not going to start dating right away, are you, mommy? Fucking kids are a pain in the ass. Uh, we gonna smoke a joint after this set or what? Definitely. Good. I, 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 um, I met a woman on. Uh, I had a date with a woman. I met on Match.com. She was uh, she's supposed to be 50. She lied about her age. She was supposed to be 50. She was in her 80s. I couldn't I couldn't get her wheelchair on my car. I couldn't get it to fold up. Uh, she gave me the worst blowjob I've ever gotten in my life. And she wanted to know if I was going to take her out again. I said, okay, but we're going to have to take accessoride. <laughs> I, can't, I can't spend a whole night getting this chair in the car. And I, I clicked on this woman's profile on Match, and uh, her body type is, I'll tell you later. I mean, what, what, what do you even tell me? After I buy a $100 uh, steak at Del Frisco's? And uh, she smokes two packs a day, doesn't touch a drop of alcohol, which is code for I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> Had a, I had to fly down to Texas last week for my uh, my grand my grandson's nine month old birthday party. I took uh, Spirit Airlines. Anybody ever fly that thing? It's it's half, half the price of any airlines that flies down to Texas. Uh, I was the only I was the only white guy on the plane. You know you, you know. So I uh, <laughs> I uh, I had to use the lavatory and uh, I had opened the lavatory door. Some lady calls me a motherfucker. And then uh, every other word on his plane was motherfucker. And in fact, the pilot, the pilot, uh, he's not better anyway. He gets on the loudspeaker and he says, "We're, we're be beginning our approach to Dallas Fort Worth. I'll have this motherfucker on the ground in 20 minutes." He's not better than the passenger, you know. But the, re the reason I hate going down to Texas is uh, because you can't bring weed on the plane. You can't bring weed because they confiscate or you get arrested. But somebody turned me on to weed lozenges. Anybody ever hear of that? Yeah, yeah. Yes. So as soon as this nine-month-old party started, I started popping these things like cough drops. <laughs> After about one hour, I was I was hallucinating. I was hallucinating. Uh, as you, had, you ever get the feeling you just totally don't have any control anymore? I, I was praying. As you know, somebody told me you're supposed to take uh, one of these every eight hours. I was praying to God just to just let me be straight one more time before I die. You know, God was that 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 was so scary. And uh, I'm a pharmacist. I work for Rite Aid. Anybody got Rite Aid here? Yeah. Nobody ever yeah. here Rite Aid. All right, come on. Part of it. Thanks for uh, you know. Thank you. Uh, they don't suspense weed. I know. I know. Not yet. This la lady. This uh, lady comes in. Uh, I'm sorry. This guy comes in. Wants me to recommend the best thing for for rectal itch. And uh, I tell him your finger. <laughs> And uh, it turns out this guy is the mystery shopper. <laughs> this is the mystery shopper. He's some uh, high school dropout who gets paid eight dollars an hour to spy on you. You know, a anybody work for a co big company here? Yeah, I did. I mean, how, how do you like your company? You working hard and your company spying on you. How, how do you like that? Everybody's spying on you. Yeah, I really. I mean, <laughs> the, you know, if this motherfucker doesn't. Mm, his recommendation is he could. But his recommendation can like lose my job, you know. If he doesn't give me a good recommendation, and he gives me a zero on a mystery shopper report, <laughs> and uh, my boss, who's a gay Jew and loves cock, 
comes in the next day to fire me. He brings in another pharmacist with him. I said, I said, you could suck my cock. I'm not getting fired because the mystery shopper doesn't have a sense of humor. You know? So he says, okay, if you let me suck your cock, uh, you can keep your job. So I said, okay, no homo. You know? Um, you know, I, at my age, I can't be without health insurance. You know, I'm not young like you people, you know? You don't have health insurance, do you? Under my parents. Oh, all right, all right. Yes, yeah, 226, right, right, right. Uh, I'll just finish up with this, because Scott wants me out of here. You know, one more, one more quickie, Scott. Um, this lady comes in with a Ziploc bag filled with white powder, and she wants to know what it is. And I put some on my tongue. I said, it's definitely sweet and low. I, I offered her $400 for it. She wouldn't take it. I said, come back tomorrow, I get paid, I'll give you 800 These lady coke dealers are, are, are the worst, you know? I'm going to give you back to Scott, the great Scott! Woo! Great Scott! Yeah. Come on, let's hear it, come on! Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.